Hello everyone, hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Reaction to Cowboy Bebop This Hurt. My name is Matt. Hello, what's up? Okay, we're getting ready to watch Cowboy Bebop again this week. Uh, we're on episode 22 now, so we're getting close to the end of the show. Uh, how many was it? 26? 26, okay. So, yeah, getting ready to watch Cowboy Bebop. Last week, what happened? Last week we got... What was the title of the episode? It was Boogie Woogie Feng Shui. It was a Jet episode, which is always fun to see. I like Jet episodes. But, now that's done, moving on to this next episode. Like, last week I had, like, a full-on, like, talk about, like, how the Cowboy Bebop universe seems to be very much alive. Because they they introduce all these, like, concepts and events that they always come back and are consistent. Um, and it always, like, kind of ties together uh, in a way that it's not like, super relevant to, like, any overarching plot, but it is all part of the world, and it makes it feel very much alive. And the most exciting part about that is that when we're getting to the final episodes of the show, it would make sense for all of that to, like, be at its strongest. So, I'm excited about that. But also, we do need to remind ourselves that that's not really... At least, I don't think it is the main thing about the show. Uh, but we'll see where this goes, because, like, like I was thinking about this, like, Cowboy Bebop could do, like, a, like, a Chekhov's firing squad thing, where all, everything that has been laid out comes back in, like, right at the end, and, and now, and we saw, like, some huge mystery or something, that would be really fun, but I don't know if we'll do that, um, I'm guessing not, this is all just to, to add flavor to the world, which is great. Man, I really don't like my hair today. I don't know what the fuck we're doing here. I don't know if there's any overlap between Cowboy Bebop viewers and JoJo fans, but I just watched JoJo. Uh, I finished watching the second batch of episodes for Stone Ocean that just came out yesterday. So I watched 12 episodes of anime in the last day, which is not something I do often, especially not now that I have this channel where I watch an episode a week. But uh, I'm watching JoJo on my own time and dude, like, I don't remember much of part 6. Like, I remember how it ends when I read the manga, but... I'm watching it now, and I'm baffled at how... Like, how the events move way quicker than I remember. And also, they're, like, way more interesting than I remember. Because I feel like they're just so confusing when I read the manga, and also was a dumb teenager. So I just kind of, like, I went sure, and I just pressed next page, and I just finished the entire manga that way. Uh, now I'm actually appreciating things, and I'm having a lot of fun, and, um... FF is best plankton. That's all I'll say. If you're not a JoJo fan, this makes no sense. That's completely fine. Let's just watch Cowboy Bebop. All right, uh, check out the Patreon. Check out the link in the description below. Pop up on the screen. You can support the channel and watch the next two episode reactions to Cowboy Bebop already over there, as well as full link reactions. All right, let us begin. So, Cowboy Bebop episode 22. Let's go. <laughs> is that a bomb? A secret camera? That's an evil teddy bear. Yes. Like Spiegel. Oh, he knows uh -oh. you. You know me? We dread getting caught by either you or Andy. Andy? Andy? Spike has a reputation. I would not have uh. believed that it was a bomb. I pulled the ignition pin out. Oh, get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Man, Spike is good at his job. Whenever bullshit doesn't show up. That's how I deliver a warning. I'm sounding the alarm, alerting the masses. <laughs> What? Is that a horse? There he is! It's the Cowboy Bebop! What the fuck? Reach for the sky, Teddy Bomber. Who, me? That's your serial bomber there! Yeah, right, that old security guard. Faces are too unreliable to count on nowadays. Then what do you rely so on? So this guy's terrible at his job, I guess. My gut instinct. There we go, I see. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> Like I said, Spike is due to the job whenever bullshit doesn't show up. You have a horse, you can catch up to him. You can get him. Oh my god, he trampled over Spike. Cowboy Funk. I totally buy the horse. You do? But you're lacking creativity in the cowboy character. Perhaps if he was a samurai instead. Now that what? I wouldn't question. <laughs> what? Registered as a member there of the YMCA. Young Men's Cowboy Association. I've never oh my god, I love that. Damage to private property, 123 counts. Damage to public property, 89 counts. Numerous <laughs> injury victims. It sure reminds me of someone. 
I was thinking they have a lot, they have shit in common. And Spike also kind of operates by feeling. How do you know it was me? You're wearing a bear suit. Cowboy's gonna show up again. You wanna know? Yeah. Here to bring a warning to the world. Listen, heed these words. The root of all evil is- He's coming. <laughs> Why is he so extra? That's not a costume, that's just him. Also a horse. I know that's you, Teddy Bomber. Huh? Who, me? I told you. Oh my or god. Is it you? We met each other yesterday. Hmm. Uh, is it just getting chess? upset that people are ignoring him? I hate it's being ignored. Sure. <laughs> yeah. People are dying, by the way. Those explosions are not good. Remember peace and love. Remember peace and love, man. I love that outfit for Jet, by the way. I, I think Jet should keep that. Boom. Cowboy chase. Also, sci fi cowboy chase. He's shooting Spike. Oh my god. They're just, just wrecking everything. Who gives a fuck? This is not even about the bomber. The bomber doesn't matter. It's about the fucking cowboy. We're finally gonna get him. Nope. He's going after Spike, isn't he? Yeah? Destroying the city in the process. They're completely ignoring him. This episode's stupid. Let's go. Why would a man like you become a bounty hunter? He's seeking the thrill. Seriously, such a dangerous line of work seems unnecessary. Nobody wants to get his butt blown off in some damn explosion. Well, we can't worry about that. Man, I can't worry about that when my mind is set. Well, I'm wearing blinders. Nothing else matters. He's a lot like Spike. is way too familiar. Yep. The hair is the same. Like, a lot about them is the same. Spike just hates himself more. <laughs> that, that's the only difference. Son of a gun. Oh my god, they have so many. I know why he hates the guy. They're too much alike. Yeah. Uh, what part of me could be anything like that stupid ass? The part that makes you so damn troublesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. TV sent a letter to our station to read on our show. What? Yeah, because he wants the attention because everyone's ignoring him. All of you who put me down and laughed at me. Dramatic lining. The job I do next is your last chance. <laughs> Ignored once more. <laughs> it's like they're not showing up. Late. Damn them. No. Now dare you insult me by showing up late. Wait. <laughs> he doesn't care about him. He only cares about the cowboy. You deserve to be hurt. Huh? <laughs> the fact that you can hear the whistling. He's not even whistling. It just happens whenever he's around. You're always, you're always, mm -hmm. always butting in. Stay out of my way. What? Yeah. You're the one who's always in the way. Now that I have both of you gentlemen here. Nobody cares, old man. Why yeah. won't you listen to me? Shut up. Yeah. yeah. What, you want? Who are you? Uh -huh. Oh my God. You fellows have grossly underestimated me. That elevator door is never going to open again. And at the very moment the elevator reaches them, boom! I know exactly how his mind works. Hmm? <laughs> I knew that he would alter the secret emergency access code, so I reverted it this afternoon. That you I reverted, reverted it. This afternoon. So it's back to normal. Oh my god. Oh my god, these two idiots. Ooh. A cowboy rope, of course! Of course he had a rope with him. They're racing to see who climbs first. Of course they are. Like a couple of monkeys. Why? Are they gonna have a cowboy duel? Hell yeah they are. Why? Oh I love it. This is a ridiculous episode. <laughs> Ooh, dodge. <laughs> Fuck you. This animation is sick though. <laughs> He's so upset at this fucking cowboy. Huh? 
It's all gonna crumble. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you alright? Let's kick you it. Win. Well, sure. I see now that you're the real cowboy. <laughs> I retire from the job. Why? Uh, heads off to you, partner. What? What are you gonna do now? I have no doubt I'll find some new career. See you, space cowboy. It's the end of the show. We can stop now. He's okay. on a different level, or should I say out of his league with me? <laughs> hey, are you listening? Nobody gives a shit. So of course, I never really had anything personal against the guy. Now he's happily eating the food. I only wanted to send out a warning. A warning. Against the needless waste created by capitalism without philosophy. The needless colonization of planets. You see, by destroying these monoliths, I intended to remind the world what the pioneering spirit is truly wait, about. Wait, wait, wait! Huh? <laughs> Call me Musashi! <laughs> It was all needless too, wasn't it? <laughs> See you, Japanese cowboy. <laughs> See you, space samurai. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. That's better. That's better. I mean, samurais are just Japanese cowboys, really. See you, space samurai. Fuck, I'm actually upset I didn't say that before it popped up. Because I could have said it. Oh, fuck. That would have been really fun if I did. See you, Space Samurai. Fuck, dude. I'm disappointed in myself now. Okay, that episode was fucking... God. That was a really fun episode. Holy fuck. Like, there are some episodes that are just fun episodes, really. Like, we, we've said this before, but this was definitely one of the peak ones to me. And it fucking ended with the fucking Space Samurai thing. I just... I couldn't fucking believe it. Like... This entire episode was just like one joke after the other, and it was executed great. Okay, so in this episode, Spike meets a real ass cowboy who's also a bounty hunter. The entire episode is about them competing with each other because they keep comparing each other to each other. Everything about the way they act, maybe not everything, but like a lot of it, about the way they act, about the way they do things. Even when at the beginning he said like, like, I just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of operate by vibes, you know? Like, I just kind of follow my gut instinct. I'm like, that's kind of what Spike does, isn't it? <laughs> so, and then you look at him, and when it, whenever he takes his hat off, he literally looks exactly like Spike, but blonde. Like, everything about this guy is very similar to Spike. And then they start addressing it. Like, even in the scene before they even meet the guy... Uh, they say, like, oh, he causes a lot of troubles and, and breaks shit, uh, causes property damage and stuff. Then they say, oh, it's like you, Spike. And he's like, shut up. And then when they finally meet him, Faye has this moment of, like, they're very similar. Like, they're just... There's a lot of comparisons to draw here. And then they tell him that, and Spike is like, shut up, I'm nothing like him. And he gets so angry, he gets so upset that he takes the... Inv the open invitation that the criminal set up just because he knows that the fucking cop I forgot his name I think he's like Andy so he just takes the invitation because he knows that Andy will show up he doesn't give a shit about the bomber daddy bomber but which only infuriates the bomber more which is really funny it's a really funny ongoing gag that at the very beginning he's like oh we're here to stop you bomber guy and then he's like oh my reason for for doing this shit is and then the cowboy shows up and every time the cowboy shows up every time andy shows up you hear like western cowboy whistling but like the final time that it happens you actually do see him approaching but I don't see his mouth whistling. I just, I just, I'd like to believe that the whistling just happens as like an AOE aura around him. Like whenever he moves around with his horse, that place just, just, just a passive effect. It's not something that he actively does. So Andy shows up and he completely fucks everything up. And then the second time we all try to get the bomber and... Once again, they fuck everything up because they start fighting. And then the bomber gets really upset. And then the next time he's like, fucking come and pay attention to me. I hate both of you. And then he's like, I'm going to kill the fuck out of you two for ignoring me. And they com 
continue to ignore him. They're like, fuck you. I don't, like, I'm here to settle a score with this son of a bitch. I don't give a shit about no bomber. They end up having to cooperate, sort of, uh, in order to survive. I do like the fact that, like, they're going up the elevator and they're like, I know exactly how this movie works. I, I revert the code. And then Spike is like, I also revert the code. So it's back to where it was. Fuck! <laughs> We're gonna blow up! I can't fucking believe that. It's so funny. And then the fact that, like, the bomber, like, literally, Faye just walks up and punches him, and it's like, alright, we got him. Let's just leave. And then Spike and Andy have a fucking showdown, like, at the top of this building. There's, like, a fucking antenna that falls down. It's like a tumbleweed or some shit. And they start having this, like, duel at at sundown too you know it has to be it has to be cinematic and it's a great duel you know they're shooting and they're punching and dodging and kicking and you can fall off the edge and fucking die like, as if it was like a cliff or something the way it concludes is funny too because like spike falls and gets like burned into like this rubble and shit and then he gets upset and he just punches this desk and then that vibration of that punch just collapses the entire building and then andy is like all right you win that was a good punch <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna retire now. Good bo See you, Space Cowboy. <laughs> he just leaves. Oh, that's really funny. He grabbed the viewer by the throat and said, Reference. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Cowboy Bebop reference. Oh my god. And then the kicker at the end. There's like multiple kickers. So the bomber is just like, Do you want to know why I was doing what I did? And the cop is like, tell me. And he's like, because it is important for society to see this this capitalistic house that we live in. That's why he, when he blew up things, he didn't want to blow up people. He only blew up, like, big buildings because it's like, fuck them. We, we need to get rid of this, like, almost like monuments to this uh, capitalistic society we live in. And he just started giving this speech. And then suddenly they're like, wait, what's that? And they just hear the whistling and they look out the window and it's Andy in a samurai getup, which is a joke earlier in the episode when Spike uh, said what he saw and Jet said, I don't know, I would believe it more if it was a samurai. And they just started laughing with Faye. See you, space samurai. Man, I'm upset. I'm legitimately disappointed in myself. Because I said, see you, uh, fuck, what did I say? See you, Japanese cowboy? But no, yes, yeah, see you, space samurai. Because I was thinking in my mind, uh, samurais are just Japanese cowboys, I guess. In the same way that, uh, uh a gaucho is an Argentinian cowboy. <laughs> like, every country has their own different versions of cowboys, I'm, I'm guessing, you know? Like, uh, that was such a fun episode. But the entire episode was really just drawing the comparison between Spike and uh, and Andy here. Because it's literally just Spike encounters, like, the the archetype of character that he is. And he, he, a cowboy, really. <laughs> because, and when, like, the, Andy just says it. He's like, see you, space cowboy. And it's like, that's what Spike is. Like, like that's like literally everything that he is like conceptually when they were making the show and they were making these characters they were thinking yeah i want to make a western but in space and that's it <laughs> and then all right that that's cowboy bebop and this episode it's like yeah but what if this space cowboy met the real cowboy and they had an entire episode where they were just fighting each other and then at the end the the normal cowboy passes the torch to the space cowboy <laughs> Oh, that's really fun. Oh, that's a really fun idea. I'm a very big fan of this. It's so silly. It's not that deep, but it's so fun. It's so good. I'm a big fan of it. Oh my god. Yo, I want at the end, like, at the end of the show, I want Andy to show up randomly and come in here with a katana and fucking fight Vicious and kill him or whatever. The Andy assist. Nobody expects it, but I will. Something that crossed my mind that I'm gonna say before I forget. Um, when Spike punched the table and, like, everything collapsed, um, it could just be a fun gag. Also, Spike could have a cyborg arm. Or, or half his body, or whatever. I'm just gonna throw that in there, because I've said it before, I was like, Spike at least has a cyborg eye, he could have a cyborg body, we don't know that. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in there. When he punched that thing and the entire thing collapsed and fucking Andy was like, that was a really powerful punch, maybe that, that's gonna come back? Maybe that's actually important. Maybe that's relevant. 
Maybe that's uh, that's a little clue that Spike has a lot of strength in her arm, and that's not because it's strong, but because it's fucking made of metal. We'll see. We'll see if that comes to pass. That's just a random prediction. Like, I keep thinking that Andy's, like, stupid, but then I think about if Spike was in this situation, I feel like he would act the same. Because Spike has had many moments where he's actually just doing shit that I'm just sitting here like, bro, why? So, yeah, Spike is not, like, the most, like, cleverest, like, rational human either. He's kind of a shit. <laughs> so it makes sense, actually. I, I can actually see the fucking characters being inverted and this entire episode just working exactly the same. And then at the end of the episode, it, we do have to say that, like, Spike is, like, telling everything that happened and he's, like, super excited. He was like, yeah, he was no match for me, man. I was so fucking cool. And he's happily eating the food because he's, like, he accepted it. He, he accepted fucking Andy. Like, he acknowledged his strength. They, they literally had a cowboy show, showdown, which sounds like an, a game that SNK should make, but <laughs> they had a showdown and then they gained each other's respect and then he was like, all right, you win, I retire, goodbye. <laughs> and then Spike was like, man, that was cool. <laughs> All right, this was a good episode. It was just really fun. I don't know what else to say. Like, I feel like this, this is very quick, very direct. But it's very fun. <laughs> That's what's important at the end of the day. Oh my god. This is just a bunch of jokes. It's great. I, I just had a blast. I do like... I'm watching this again at the end. So the bomber says, I wanted to raise the question of how a true pioneer should be. And then they see fucking Andy come in. And he says, well, I guess there was no point to that, huh? He realizes that that's the real person he was seeking. And I like that the cop just gives him like a pat on the shoulder. Like, it's gonna be okay, buddy. He's a, he's a prison guard. You're a criminal. Why is he so... Oh my god, this is funny. This entire episode was made with just fun in, in, in mind. Like, every choice they made for every character, every line of dialogue, and everything that anyone does, it's just like, it's there just to make it fun. It's just a fun episode, dude. Alright, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. This is gonna be it for this episode. It was just so fun. <laughs> it was just so fun. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning into this Cowboy Yo episode. See you next week. And alright, everyone, thank you so much for watching this reaction episode to Cowboy Bebop. If you would like to watch the next two episode reactions, you can already do so over at the Patreon. Check out the link in the description below. Social media, all sorts of stuff that I do. See you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.